Good morning, uh, families, and happy October uh, 6th. I got that one right this time. Uh, last video, I was a month ahead of myself. Um, I wanted to say hello and uh, send gratitude for the families uh, who I got to spend some time with on uh, <clears throat> Tuesday night. Um, and I wanted to in show you a little bit of what's going on in our classroom and, and keep you up to date. Uh, first and foremost, obviously, I'd love to, to highlight your students and, and some of their awesome stuff. So uh, this is a little wall that we have kind of called our positivity wall. Uh, and so students have sort of made positive self-affirmation videos. Hi for Miss Miles. Hello. It's all of the families. I'm making a video. Oh, well, I'm devastated to not be teaching this class. That's really very genuine. I'm very upset about it. Heartbroken also. Uh, also here we have a really great Terry Fox infographic wall that we made. I think you can see those. That's awesome. Um, and so the students did an incredible job and then they voted on their favorite one. Um, and so that was a lot of fun as well. Um, and so a lot of really cool things going on in here. Uh, today we're meeting with a class from Oregon to discuss our book. But our book is something that I wanted to talk about also because it's kind of sparked a lot of amazing curiosity. Uh, two students started making a rover out of leaves and sticks and grass. And then on Tuesday night, two students started, started taking popcorn cups and making their own. Um, and then that has sparked a bunch of other people and subsequent <laughs> other robot rovers. Um, and so uh, it's awesome to see learning that uh, is self-directed and very cool. Um, so the book is going really well. We're on track. We're spending the morning on computers, which is going to be cool doing a little bit of fun work that way. Um, and working towards uh, understanding, comprehension, um, vocabulary. There's a lot of vocabulary work today. Um, and uh, But as a whole, the reading has been really enjoyable. I've just been sitting at my desk taking notes and, and thoroughly enjoying listening to the group uh, do what we call popcorn reading. And, and if you want to know what that is, ask your son or your daughter. Um, it's really cool. Uh, math this week, um, we have been working on uh, stem and leaf graphs. And then we have also been making these really cool name art slash um, transitions. So this is, for example, you can see the name if you fold it up into a triangle. However, uh, when you put it out like this, it just looks almost like a little bit of a Mandela. So there's some rotations, reflections, uh, symmetry, and so a lot of really cool art concepts, but also uh, mathematical concepts. And it's just another way for us to... Um, demonstrate our learning and decorate our classroom in this really cool, awesome way. Uh, in science, uh, the students have been working on the human body. That's also a part of our who we are. Um, and this is really neat. Uh, the students, we've been kind of taking a, a bit of a kinesthetic approach to it. Uh, so for example, the students uh, would stand up and we did a 3D imaging from Google. Uh, talking about the skeletal system and the mu muscular system. Um, and then we are going to be moving into um, the digestive system next. That's a little bit more complicated to do kinesthetic with. Uh, but the students have really enjoyed talking about their biceps, triceps, and kind of feeling certain muscles. And then if you move them, how do they work? How do they feel? Your biceps meaning two, uh, tri meaning three, uh, and the two heads, for example, is what the bicep actually means. Um, and so uh, that's been really cool. So as opposed to just reading everything, uh, but what they have been doing, and this is kind of the IB slash inquiry piece. So after learning, uh, what they've been working on is um, I've given them a sheet of paper uh, and each um, system has five bullet points. And so they're coming and creating questions also. So they're reading, they're learning then they're creating questions, and then in turn, I'm taking those questions and creating a very simple multiple choice quiz where they're going to be able to show and demonstrate their learning. And as their IB final project, they're going to be making a uh, life-size replica using recycled materials, big brown paper, and they're going to be demonstrating uh, whatever they've learned uh, and be able to demonstrate awesome awesome learning. And we'll hang those in the school probably because we just don't have space in, in class to do that. Uh, so that's a wrap 
for our week. It's been an incredible week of learning. Um, the students were also able to pick their own desk arrangements this week. Um, and like I explained, I think in a previous video, uh, twofold, one, uh, student voice and choice is really important in here. And secondly, um, it holds them accountable. Um, and, and I've really noticed that, like even yesterday, we had a, a, a teacher who was struggling with a, a really challenging headache and certain students were really, really supportive and trying to remind classes that the class story that we needed to be quiet to support her through a challenging day. Uh, so all in all, it's a really awesome class. I'm really grateful, fortunate, to, and uh, really looking forward to the continuing the learning here. So uh, I've gone on uh, for quite a bit here, so I'm going to go. But uh, I was just really pleased to be able to demonstrate three different uh, types of learning uh, to give you a visual representation of A, what our classroom looks like, but also B, uh, the fun work that we are doing and how important it is, for example, to be positive and to celebrate a national hero like Terry Fox uh, and to demonstrate uh, math in a fun new way. Today, they are working on a stem and leaf plot, which they started yesterday, which they created all of the numbers. We wrote all the numbers down on the board. They are numbers, not mine. Um, and uh, today we are going to be talking about the shop also. So we're creating a shop. Uh, the students, before we reorged, called it Costco, which is taking Costco and Cowan, blending it together. Um, and it, this is a part of our financial literacy. So that's happening today. Um, anyways, thank you so much for your time. I love making these videos for you. And I hope that you have a happy, happy Thanksgiving weekend uh, with family, friends. Uh, there is so much to be grateful for. Uh, I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful for your children. Take care. Thank you so much. Bye now.